Well, we did not see too much of him. As of day 7, Terunofuji Fuji is out for the ninth time in 16 meets since ascending to Yokozuna. But unlike all the other times, the word retirement is being used by the mainstream press. And lots. Only four other Yokozuna since 1949 have appeared for six days and lost four times, said Sponichi this early morning. The last one to do so, Tochinomi, even retired, it added. NHK pundit Mainomi, meanwhile, speaking on Friday night, said, It may even be he retires now. There's no bounce in his legs, which appear on closer inspection to be yet thinner than last time out. He can't resist attacks. And it takes the gloss of his trophy wins when he essentially keeps saying, the efforts I made to win the last cup make me totally incapable of competing for the next one. Coach Isegahama, though, told Nikan Sports this morning that Teru is planning one final comeback in two months' time, and as such will be foregoing any further hip operations. For if he has one, he won't be able to train. There'll be no recovery time, the master said. Teru rushed himself into March on a skeleton training regime as he viewed this tournament as his best chance to reach his goal of 10 titles, one more than ex-stablemate Haruma Fuji. It appears Teru sees a slim chance that he can reach this goal in May. Beyond that, I don't think he sees a thing. And neither for that matter does sumo chairman Hakkaku who, when asked for comment on the Yokozuna's condition, simply went, uh. And that is as good as a sumo death knell.